Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for checking out today's video. I'm super excited today because the car is finally making some really good power. I'm excited to share it with you guys, you know, get a little driving review because I haven't driven the car a lot since we started making this kind of power. I uh, basically did the tune, did all the data logging, and then just kind of been driving it back and forth to work. So I'm gonna go out today, I'm gonna play with it a little bit, have a little bit of fun and give you guys a nice honest review. Before we get any further into the video though, I did want to mention one more thing, is that I did clickbait you guys just a little bit, and I'm sorry for that, but I thought it'd draw you into the video and we could talk about it because the numbers are still impressive. It's not making 400 horsepower, but it is damn close. And we're talking wheel horsepower, not crank horsepower. Um, and also, the car isn't completely stock, it does have an intake on it, but that's it. Just an intake and a tune. Um, so we'll talk about everything. The car's on E85, which is obviously how we got that higher power number. That's a big role in doing that with these cars. If you don't have access to E85, you won't get quite there. But the 93 octane level numbers are still very impressive. So we'll talk about that a lot. Just to show you guys, we have a stock cat back. Of course, we have our access port and you're gonna see our intake here in a minute. I do have some radium dual baffle catch cans, a set of two of those for the CCV and the PCV side. Uh, however, they are not contributing at all to performance, so there's our intake. You can see we're on a stock top mount intercooler. Now keep that in mind, that is a stock top mount intercooler, which is very impressive at these power numbers. The VAWX, if I remember correctly, you could just barely break 300 on the stock intercooler, and then you were running out of room. So this is very impressive on a stock top mount intercooler. Um, so it does appear that we're getting a little bit more airflow and a little bit better cooling with this different top mount that is different from the VA. Um, but like I said, everything is completely stock besides that intake, stock, uh, stock J pipe, stock, stock cat back. Everything is completely factory on this car besides a tune and that intake. So let's go take it for a quick little rip. Uh, the car is actually making 387 wheel horsepower. Um, on E85, straight E85, no mixing, no E60, no nothing. Um, I tested the fuel, it was 83% ethanol. So we got an E85 tune, basically anything, um, I believe he said down to like E50 couple should be safe and the car should adjust. I apologize, the sun's gonna be out. I'm gonna actually turn around, go the opposite direction so the sun's not blinding us the whole time. So one nice thing about this car right now is that it is in a mode right now where it's like it's stock i mean you have some intake noises um and obviously that's it we're on stock wheels and tires stock suspension stock exhaust stock everything so if you really wanted to build if you wanted to keep a stock wx maybe just do a quick tune on it to get a little bit more power this is going to be your best bet again clark turner is the guy who tuned this car we're making 387 wheel horsepower on a completely stock car so I'm gonna do my first full send here. Um, I, I lied, it might be my second full send, um, but I haven't actually taken it all the way to red line. So we will go up. The rev limiter is actually a little bit higher now. It's at 6,500 instead of 6,000. So we'll see if you know we feel any difference in that extra rev band. <laughs> that is strong. It is 92 degrees outside today in Pennsylvania. It's very hot out. I actually, oh, my AC is not on. Now the AC is on. Um, it is very hot out in Pennsylvania today. Um, and I can't believe when I got, when I was working on the tune, I, it was pretty hot outside during the tune, if I remember correctly. The last couple of revisions I did, I think it was starting to cool down a little bit, like in the 70s. Um, but it's still really hot today and the car is pooling good. I'm going to do a first gear launch here. The first to second hit in this car the va chassis with this twin scroll turbo is always incredible that's one thing that i loved about these twin scroll cars is that that first punch is just crazy but the first the second and the second to third is what's going to blow your transmission so we got to be careful here <laughs> oh it's fun it's funny it is literally funny um this thing is making more power. Okay, so if you remember my VAWX, a couple of times I advertised that that car was making 403 wheel horsepower. That was like a full send map, like this car is probably gonna blow up if I run this map. Um, the car was on its regular map making 372, and now I'm making 387 in this car. 
my old WRX had TGV deletes, EGR deletes, front mount intercooler, intake, boost control solenoid, turbo inlet, flex fuel kit, low pressure pump, all that stuff. Now another thing you guys are probably wondering is, well how's the fueling set up? This car is completely stock. It's on the stock high pressure fuel pump and the stock low pressure pump, which both are ethanol rated uh, apparently. So they should both be good to 100% uh, ethanol. You can get in trouble really, really quick in this car on 387 horsepower. I mean, this is good. This is really good. The power comes on nice. I think he's tuning these by gear. So the boost by gear comes in. So like first gear isn't like super harsh. Uh, whereas like in my VA, I think first gear was like useless. That is, that's, yeah, I, <laughs> okay. This car is blowing my mind every day. Um, so on the 93 tune, we made 333 wheel horsepower with just an intake. That is crazy. The car has so much potential. And uh, there's a VAWX about to pass me, give him the wave. Okay, he didn't wave back, that's fine. This car's a lot of fun for being stock with a tune. Um, so yeah, I just pull up to the pump, I fill it with straight E85. So the way it's done, I have a how-to video. If you guys are interested in learning how to tune your car, how to do an E-tune with Clark Turner, uh, I have a video that will show you how to do all that. If you already know how, it's pretty simple. Uh, if you don't know how, you can watch that video. And then from there, if you're doing a dual map setup like I did where you have the E85, all you gotta do is just let him know. If you don't have pure E85, he might ask you to test it, which is what I did and came up with 83% ethanol. Um, if you're at a flex fuel pump, you gotta be careful because they do fluctuate um, throughout the year. But I go to sheets for my gas. Um, and they have been very consistent. When I was doing the E60 blend on my old WRX, every single time I do three gallons of 93, fill the rest of the tank with the, uh, the flex fuel, and every single time I hit E60 right on the head. So uh, I think they've been very reliable in their E content, so hopefully we'll be good with that. But uh, all you gotta do then is you know, run your tank till it's dry, gas light comes on, whatever, get it as low as you comfortably can, and then you fill up with the fuel, flash the map, good to go. Now, what's gonna come in the future is probably gonna kill my clutch and probably my transmission. Um, I'm looking to get the a bigger intercooler and a J-pipe, and if I do that, I think that'll probably push this car past that limit where the stock clutch is probably gonna be a little angry at me and the transmission might leave the chat. I don't know, but um, this thing is a lot of fun. All right, so here we are. I'm gonna do a second gear pull and I'm just gonna send it till we probably hit like 120. Uh, I had to let off. So uh, 70 roll here. impressive on a 90 couple degree day um, and I'm not getting any feedback knock or anything that's one nice thing about the 85 is it's really really good fuel um, you know usually on the 85 you won't have any issues um, with knock nowhere near as much as running something like 91 uh, 93 is is pretty good too but the 85 I mean I mean it's just where it's at Well guys, after driving this car around for about two hours now on some windy back roads and really enjoying myself, this thing has been a lot of fun. Uh, again, you can get power packages at Import Image Racing that will really help step up your game. You can get a tune right there on the website from Clark Turner. Awesome setup. I'll leave a link in the description for the power packages from Import Image and again for the Clark Turner tunes. And that's going to be it guys. I really think this thing makes some really good sauce. This thing is quick. It's really fun knowing that this thing is pretty much stock. It's just insane. But that's going to be it for today's video, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Leave a comment. I'll talk to you again soon.